दिस इज देशेंट ये दिखाओ राघव यू कैन पॉइंट आउट सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्रीज एज आई टोल्ड यू दार्किंग वन एट्टी डिग्रीज पड़े रहें दो वहां पे वन एट्टी डिग्री इज द इंसीजन कैन यू सी दैट या एंड इट इज अ प्लस ट्वेंटी आई थिंक विद अन पॉइंट फाइव सेल कितना है So 1.5 the model is ZW100. Ah, 1.5 says one thing which uh, Dr. Harbans was saying. This is actually the synergy toric which is based on the technis toric two platform. So there is fenestration. Uh, the the haptics are not polished. They are fenestrated so that the rotation is much less. Okay, I have uh, had the patient earlier mark. Me ko marking diho. I'll just show you. I am not marking the alignment for the. Uh, For the IUL, can you see this mark, Doctor Namrata? Yes. One and two. Can you see this? See the no, degree. Very well focused, but Zoom I think cut. the viscoelastic is there on the cornea. That's why. I'll just try one second. Yeah, that bro. is why they are not focused that well. Now. Now, now yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there is one yes, here and yes. there is the other one. So and this is zero one eighty uh, that we had marked. Me, ko dikha wo marker. वो दिखाओ एंड यू कैन सी दैट वंस वी हैड अलाइंड इट दिस इज कमिंग एट दिस इज 0180 यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज कमिंग एट 26 डिग्रीज राइट हियर 25 26 दिस इज कमिंग राइट हियर एंड 206 सो इट्स वेल अलाइंड फ्रॉम दैट पर्सपेक्टिव ओके आई विल जस्ट पुट ऑन टू कोएक्सियल नाउ बिकॉज़ द मार्क्स आर नॉट वेल सीन व्हेन यू आर नॉट कोएक्सियल व्हेन यू आर कोएक्सियल आई मीन सो इज दैट ओके शैल आई स्टार्ट यस सर आई विल जस्ट रिड्यूस द मैग कॉर्निया थोड़ा वेट कर दो ओके सो आई जस्ट स्टार्ट विद दी कर दो एक बार वेट ओके थैंक यू सीधा देखिएगा मैं शुरू कर रहा हूँ सो आई जस्ट गो इन विद दी साइड पोर्ट विस्को दिस इज फिनो केन जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ फिनो केन और ऑकुलॉन यू कैन पुट सो दिस इज फिनो केन दैट आई एड इंजेक्टेड नाउ आई एम इंजेक्टिंग मिथाइल सेल डोज इंसीजन एट वन एटी डिग्रीज स्लाइटली पोस्टीरियर लिंबल गो इन बेबल डाउन इसको ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट नॉर्मली वी हैव अ फ्री फ्लोटिंग कैप्सुलॉटमी सो यू कैन सी राइट फ्रॉम हेयर टिल हेयर जस्ट अ स्मॉल टैग व्हिच मे बी देयर दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली डिटैच्ड सो यू कैन यू नीड नॉट एक्चुअली डू दिस बट यू कैन सी दैट आई कैन यू सी दिस दिस इज फ्री फ्लोटिंग एंड वी कैन जस्ट pull this out with the hydro that you do so just a pneumo dissection has been done this is a hydro dissection that was done you can see i don't need to very forcefully rotate it because it's already uh, well separated de do mujhe the settings that i have for this particular case are ye setting dikha dena idhar this is 36 uh, aspiration vacuum is 420 and power is white star 45 linear okay are the parameters seen are the parameters yes, seen sir, yes, okay sir. fine yes so actually we'll use much less we just removed the just removed the capsule a uh, sharp chopper uh, you won't need to use much of it because it's already pre chopped yeah Okay, so you can see I am not using much of uh, any power. Uh, it's just a separation. Sonu says it is easy for the staff to remember. <laughs> anyway, whatever is preset doesn't matter. Does it really, or once? No, no, no. It's perfectly all right. I just enjoyed seeing 420. That's it. <laughs> okay. Good, dear. So you can see that there is. It's very gentle, easy that you can get. And as Namrata was talking about in the last patient. Uh, uh the surge control is pretty efficient in this machine and uh, we'll soon be having the next upgrade which is the veritas this is uh, you can see it's hardly any power that's being used and it's just an aspiration and the whole thing is getting coming to the center this machine also has a venturi if you want to put it on a venturi 
So, you can see the whole nucleus is gone. Yeah, so when I uh, do a very hard nucleus, I do not do the, uh, the grid, I just do the 6 or 8 quadrants, this was 4. So, normally because in coaxial we prefer to start with the uh, sub incisional because it is filled up with visco. So, it does not, uh, the chamber does not collapse. So, wherever you have removed, uh, the only thing is you can see the white uh, whiteness that you can see at the capsular margin, that is because the cortex has been cleaved from that area, okay? because uh, 500 microns is cleaved uh, and you can see that uh, as if you go with corresponding area, that means if I have removed the cortex from here, then I go to the next part, it is much easier to remove it. So, that is how we start from uh, sub incisional and you can see that it cap back. So, I am going on to polish and uh, these are couple of fibers that are there. Uh, can you see the, uh, in th uh, the alignment marks uh, very well in the coaxial, especially this one. So, as was told by Dr. Harbans, uh, uh, we are heal on the so, the advantage of this would be also if your pupil becomes small, it does not matter, you can still see. Yes, you can still see and uh, you can see it post operatively also. also yeah. That is the advantage. So, I am just using Helon. So, uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so, this is the lens is the, the same unfolder system, you all know, can you see this? And yes. uh, the lens is here, uh, if you can make out it is a slightly yellow tint. Uh, so, essentially it is not a, it is a, not a blue blocker, but it is an ultraviolet blue blocker. So, it does not uh, stop the normal uh, uh, blue zone and uh, therefore, the circadian rhythm is not affected. So, we just go in, sorry, you can see that uh, the lens is being put in gently, you can uh, just it uh, will unfold easily once we put it in the bag because there is helon, it would not unfold very fast and uh, these are the alignment marks, can you see this? So, uh, as of now, because it is still not unfolded, I can do it the anti-clockwise because I will just want to make it a little beyond the alignment, so that once I have to do the alignment, I will be able to do the alignment better. Okay, so, that is the lens that is there and uh, you can see central 1.5 millimeter, these are the serrated edges, you could see I should have shown you, but it was already folded, these are serrated to some extent and therefore, the alignment is much better. I think there are 15 rings uh, that are there and uh, the only thing that you need to remember about synergy is that the degradation of the distance vision is more if you are slightly myopic than if you are slightly hyperopic. So, you prefer to keep it on the first hyperopic uh, that you have on the IUL master. Okay, so, you can see that this because the lens is still not opened, it is kind of jumped out. So, I will have to rotate it the whole hog. So, those are the alignment marks that are there, I will just have to go with a viscoelastic and just that is fine, I think I will just put this here and uh, rotate it now back. I will just uh, go off the coaxial to get a better look at the alignment. So, you can see this is misaligned as of now. Can you see this mark and this mark? So, I think I will just align it, that is about it and uh, since key, look straight, I might uh, need to put some viscoelastic at times if you want, but let us see. So, that is the alignment, can you see the alignment being proper? Sila dekho, can you see this? Yes, yes. In between your mark, the crana, ye wala. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that is uh, uh, just inflate it, it is well aligned with the mark, and uh, just check with the 
I will just tap the lens back so that it sticks to the capsule okay and uh, Vigamox or moxifloxacillin I will put it is well aligned and that is pretty much the end of the surgery. Excellent. Thank you. Any questions please? Excellent surgery sir. sir Thank you. Showing so, the machine parameters you said you prefer capsule scan for your capsular access. Yeah. While the machine offers others like people center also. So, any Thick case is yeah, because the lens is into the capsular bag, right? Jab aapka lens rest karta hai, toh capsular bag mein center hoga na? Nahi samaj hai. When you are putting the lens, the capsule is round, so it is going to be centered into the capsular bag. So, whatever is this, okay? So, pupil and capsular, uh, capsular center may be different. Understood limbus center, pupil center and scanned capsule, capsule center would be different because the lens has to sit in the capsular bag. Therefore, you use a scanned capsule, the center of the scanned capsule to, uh, to do the capsulotomy so that the lens is uh, pretty much center, the capsulotomy overlaps the lens that is where it sits. Otherwise, there can be a slight angle. Understood? Yes, sir, yes. So, the, the you take first uh, hypropic reading on your iron master and yes. start for the yes. uh, synergy lenses. Yes, and yes. Advantage of that? Advantage of that is that the degradation of the vision. See, what the point is uh, uh, if a person has a plus uh, uh, <coughs> 0.12 or plus 0.25 that is not going to degrade the vision to the same extent as a degradation of a minus 0.25. If you are myopic, your degradation for the distance vision is higher than the degradation and the abrasions that are induced are more with a myope than with the, the residual myopia than with the hyperopia. And as it is, the add is pretty good because this lens gives you an add at 30 centimeters and not like the other ones which give at 40 centimeters. So, even if there is a slight hyperopia, this add uh, instead of being at 30 could go to 33 or 35, but not to 40. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Otherwise, it ne person will have to keep it still nearer. So, this is a very valid point. Whenever I use the synergy type of a lens where the reading distance is 33, it is better to err on the plus side for two reasons. Because your reading distance will not increase much. But if you keep this patient say minus 0.5, then the reading will come to the 25 centimeter, 20 centimeter, which may be very, very uncomfortable for the patients. Another is the size of the halo. If patient becomes myopic, the Become size more. of the halo also increases. So the the street light will look much bigger halos. So if it is slightly hypopic, the size of the halo also remains smaller. So, so the, uh, basically, in, in the ADOP lenses like uh, you use Symphony or VBT or these type of lenses, which has got reading distance of around 40 centimeter, you can keep them slightly on the minus side, not on the plus side, because the reading distance will be far off. But in these high power lenses, whether it is a pan optics or synergy or any lens, you need to have the first. So, uh, what you have said is absolutely right, uh, <coughs> Dr. Arbans, that the dysphotopsias are much more if you have a residual minus than a plus. The problem is that uh, right when we started doing I our IOLs, we were always wanting to keep to the first minus. Uh, for monofocals, etc., because it gave you some reading ability. So, there is a concept change, a conceptual change, and therefore, this is being, uh, this needs to be emphasized that you keep it to the first plus. Yeah. My results have been pretty good. I think uh, Dr. Ram is here also. Any comments you wish to oh, take? We used to talk about uh, mini monovision and microvision, mix and match, etc. Now, with these synergy lenses, if you hit emetropia for uh, in the first eye, you can aim at emetropia in the second eye, and they seem to uh, function quite well. It applies also to the recent crop of trifocals, but then even more because more of most of them are functional from 40 centimeters, by this lens from 33 centimeters to infinity. So I think being as close to emetropia is what is important, and as was very nicely discussed, if at all you have to make a slight error, it's uh, more towards the hyperopia there rather than myopia. Okay. Another, another important point I would like to emphasize whenever you are using the multifocal IULs, uh, it's important to correct the small amount of astigmatism yes. as well, even if it is 0 0.75, <coughs> 0.80. And because the multifocal as it is causes some loss of contrast, and if the toricity is there, it will further increase that loss of contrast. So, while in a routine cases it may not be essential. But like we normally we keep cut, uh, cut off one 1.25 adapter for cutting asymptote. 
in this I keep around 0.75 as a by 0.7 something as a cutoff because now this is available up to which can correct 0 0.6, 7, 0 0.7. So all attempts should be made to correct the toxicity in these patients. Yeah. Thank you.